All right, I want to do a quick video today on this uh, jumper R1 V2 2.4 mini receiver. First of all, here it is right here. Um, we've been flying these because they have a super long range. Probably, we've taken them a mile without any fail-safes. Um, and they're easy to hook up and bind, too. Um, so there's the ground, S-Bus, and power. 5-volt uh, power. And then this will work on any flight controller. Just hook it up to the S-Bus on this. That's because we have the, the jumper T-18, both me and my buddy. And you just have to remember... First of all, the protocol will be FR Sky X2 D16. And then also make sure, because we have so many of these receivers and we bind them to both controllers, you have to change the receiver number every time you do it. If not, then it won't bind correctly. And then on beta flight, all you really need to do in beta flight. Let me see this. Um, connect. And failed, of course. Yeah, my ports are all messed up. But let's see here. Beta flight. Come on. There we go. So, in configurations, you just go down here and it's a. Uh, the serial base receiver and S bus, and then you'll be good to go on that. Disconnect. Okay, and then also one more thing: we have GPS on all of our drones. Um, I think they're like 15 bucks from Race Day Quads. These are very simple to hook up. TXRS. Just make sure you use a 3.5 and not a 5 volt, because if not, then it'll fry it. Not right away, but over time. And these are easy to hook up also. And you get to track your speed and a bunch of other things. And when you do it on beta flight in the setup tab. Actually, no, it's on the setup tab. It's in the ports tab. Whatever you are you put it on, you just need to make sure GPS is enabled. And in the configuration... Um, where is it? GPS. GPS. Right here. Um, GPS, U-Blocks, Autobot, Auto Config. And there's also, this isn't the latest version, but there's a bunch of, there's a couple different options. Galileo, I would just make sure you, what the hell is that? Just make sure you put that on too. So, so U-Blocks and GPS. And then save and reboot. And so that's for the what do they call this? The Mini 8. But uh, these are really nice and they hook up really fast. The first time you do it though, it will take a minute. So just hook it in, go to GPS, and get your signal first. See, even here it's taking some time. Because I just put a new GPS unit in this one because I crashed it. And it took off the GPS. So, yeah, that's about it. Receiver, GPS... And you should be good to go. Just make sure you change the receiver number on all of them. Yep. On the GPS. Sometimes... Telemetry lost. Yeah, we know. Thanks. Um, sometimes when you go in here, the GPS light won't be lit up. Even though, sometimes it gives it power to the GPS, and sometimes it doesn't. But if you have that problem, just plug in a battery. Telemetry recovered. Yeah, and then you hear that crap. And then GPS will pop up. So then you'll be good to go. And then you'll be able to get a signal. Eventually. It takes a minute, especially if you're indoors. Just put it by a window or something, hang it out of the window, and you'll be fine. All good. Oh yeah, we're going to be putting out a lot more videos, hopefully. And so, if you enjoy us, you like to see more, subscribe, watch, whatever you do. And like. Thanks. Have a good Sunday.